here we are folks it's been a long time since I um, did any mods or even had my TF2 <clears throat> uh, on video so um, um, I just got had my uh, my uh, uh, SCX 10 to uh, been using that for a couple months now and I'm just so impressed with the way it handles and stuff that I decided to put a little bit of the uh, the mods of suspension that I have on my uh, SCX 10 2 onto my trail finder 2 so um, these are the mods that uh, I just got done putting on there and just been out driving around bashing them around making sure they're going to hold so anyway I just thought I'd shoot another video of them so here we are of course you guys probably recognize the, uh, the uh, Vanquish Curry axles for the trail or excuse me for the uh, uh, SCX 10 2 got them all mounted up under there uh, give me plenty of clearance doesn't seem to interfere with anything took some uh, minor modifications to things but um, they came out pretty nice I think works pretty well as you'll see um, got the uh, axial SCX 10 springs on, or shocks with the springs on them went back to that instead of the 50-50 gonna try it out see how it works so um, she's re reborn again now we're gonna be out driving this thing out around and fashion it around taking some more videos getting it back out of the closet so this is her now wasn't too bad little modifications to they had to take the uh, uh, the three the three link off because it interfered with uh, uh, the way that the pan hard bar is on the is mounted on the truff or the uh, the axial um, SEX 10-2. It's on this side. Trail finders on this side. Uh, it's the way I got my mods all set up there. So we just put a regular four link front and rear. Seems to operate pretty well. Just running a a little tiny 2200 milliamp two cell battery in it still. Stuck with that. Seems to have plenty of power for me. Running the Rock 412 uh, or four. Uh, yeah, the 412. 1200 kV motor in it plenty of plenty of oomph, plenty of power more than you really need <clears throat> so there we are she's back back out of the closet stay tuned check
forgot to mention to you that uh, on these here last builds, like my Wraith there, I went with the uh, just the regular, I believe it's brushed aluminum color on them instead of black. I used to be an all black guy, went all black on all my other rigs. But I'm glad I went with these because I wasn't satisfied with, um, once you got to using them, I don't know if you can see how, how, uh, chewed up they really get I mean once you start once you start scraping that that oxidization off there or excuse me oxidization the anti-ization on there uh, that blackness you got uh, aluminum underneath it so the all my other rigs that I've built once you start getting them used you can see that the uh, that the uh, that the aluminum underneath the blackness and it, it, they just look kind of really ragged so I decided this go around to go with all uh, uh, all the brush aluminum I got them on this one now I got them on my SCX 10 2 and I'm running them on my Wraith and I'm really happy I did because as you can see if you look closely they look they're kind of scarred up and, and uh, gouged but you don't notice that from sitting away a little bit they still look decently so anyway just kind of a note if you're looking to put out uh, fork out this kind of money for some you might want to think about that because they just look better or longer I think and, uh, actual drivability and functionality they're same same so it's just a matter of preference I do like black kind of looks a little better but like I say once they start getting used I think these brushed aluminum ones look a lot better than, than the black ones because they don't they don't show they don't show the wear they show all the scratches and stuff so get all the, the weights and all the, uh, the hardware and the knuckles to match them whether you go black or, or the uh, brush or even the gray with the gray still you get some scratches so anyway that's my take on it